Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to do man with knee U test in SPSS or a similar uh, test that is exactly do the same they did uh, does the same as man whitney scott wilcoxon rank some test the, these two tests are used for uh, comparing two grooves that are non-parametric so this test is designed to find the differences or the statistically significant differences between two samples that are independent. It compares the difference between them. The analysis is carried out on the rank rather than the actual data itself. So it takes the data, the, the uh, test or the man Whitney test, you test, take the data, rearrange them into rank and then did the calculation uh, on the rank itself. It is used when the data are non-parametric, not normally distributed. The, the data can be continuous, scale, but not normally distributed. The small, the samples, uh, they, the sample are really size is very small, less than 30 cases, or the samples are in uh, an, uh, organized in ordinal data, like uh, one to five. So this is where man Whitney EU test is usually used uh, in these circumstances or in these conditions. Now, so if we go straight away to, S, to SBSS software, I have here a data that I had made myself. Uh, when we have, we have uh, in the first column, on the left-hand side, the gender, two groups. From In each group, there are 10 individual, male and females. And in the second column is the weight. We take the measurement for the weight, weight of the individual in both group. This is uh, um, a continuous uh, or a scale data in the weight, as we know. Satisfaction is, are you satisfied, agree, disagree, strongly agree, strongly disagree, so from one to five. Again, this column is ordinal, this column is uh, continuous or scale. So to do the man uh, Whitney U test is very straightforward and easy uh, test. Click on the analysis, scroll down to non-parametric, and then scroll down again to legacy dialogues, and scroll again to two independent samples. And uh, I have to reset this. And a window will appear, and we need to sort and transport these uh, variables and cases into relevant uh, suitable boxes. So we need to test this variable. We need to test the weight to see if there is a difference uh, between the male and the female in terms of the weight. And also, there is a difference between satisfaction in terms of they agree or don't, don't they agree with specific criteria um, so um, satisfaction is also in a variable list now we want to group the va group it based on the gender male and female and we need to click on define group one we give it number one group two we give it number two why did i select one and two because i labeled one these ones I've labeled this as one and I label this as two. Click on continue. And then I will select here uh, the man with new U test. And then I will click also an exact and I will stick to a symptom symptomatic only. Click on OK. Then the options is not that much unless we need to get some descriptive. We'll click on uh, descriptive. Click on continue, then click on OK. SPSS output will appear in the in there as we have seen here. We have 20 cases, 10 males and 10 females. And uh, the mean for the weight is 8.8 .8 for the whole the group and for the satisfaction is 2.4. Now if we look at the rank, this is how what the software has done. Rank them, there are 10 male, 10 female. Uh, one's variable is the weight, the other variable is satisfaction. And uh, as we can see here is the female um, um, uh, rank for weight 
and um, and uh, male the rank also uh, mean rank for satisfaction now this is the most important part of the analysis here an outcome as we can see here the man man with new test has been calculated for both weight and satisfaction and will coxon also and the most important part is the significance as we can see here uh, these analysis show that there is a significant difference between the male and female in terms of weight and satisfaction because the p-value is less than 0.05 uh, and this is considered to be uh, significant so there is a difference between these two group male and female in terms of their weights and in terms of their satisfaction so this is the way to do a man with new test. Okay, thank you for listening.